Hey, welcome to Mooney Reads. My name is Beck, and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Heroes Readathon. Hopefully, you all don't mind the setup. Everything is a little bit up in the air right now, so this is sort of what I have. Hopefully, the lighting isn't too terrible. But um, for those of you who don't know, the Heroes Readathon is a readathon that is happening all throughout May. Sage Reads set it up. This is the first year that they've done this. With this readathon, you pick basically a character type. Um, you choose a race and you choose, I guess, a class. And depending on what race and class you choose, you have different prompts that you follow for all of the books that you're reading for the readathon. The character that I chose for the readathon is a fae thief. Since I chose the race fae, I can only read books with LGBT representation. And since I chose the class of thief, I cannot buy any books. I only have I'm able to use books that I already have, or that I borrow, or steal, I suppose, although I don't think that I would condone that. So all of the books that I'm reading for this readathon have to have LGBT representation and have to be books that I already own or can borrow. For this readathon, they set up a bingo board that takes you through um, the hero's journey, and I have chosen one book uh, for each of those points on the bingo board. Hopefully I'll get through all of them. I think with stuff like this I always try to have one book per prompt and it doesn't always end up working that way. But this is what I'm aiming for. The first prompt in the readathon is Call to Action, a book set outside the house. And for that I have Are You Listening by Tilly Walden. Um, this is a graphic novel and it appears to be a road trip book. On the cover, they're in the car, and the side of the book says that they're on a journey through West Texas. So I'm thinking that most of this probably happens outside of the house. This book doesn't state clearly that there um, is LGBT elements in it, but I read On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden and it was very, very gay, so I would be surprised if this wasn't. Plus, I'm pretty sure this is on some of the LGBT Goodreads lists and things like that. The next prompt that we have is Meet Your Mentor, a book written by an author you admire. For that prompt, I will be reading Gender Outlaw of Men, Women, and the Rest of Us by Kate Bornstein. Kate Bornstein has been writing on gender for a very long time. They are non-binary and kick a lot of ass. So I'm looking forward to reading the whole book. I've read parts of it. Um, I've read a couple of chapters and other excerpts that she's written in general, but I have yet to read it from cover to cover. The next prompt that we have is Crossing the Threshold, a coming of age or coming out story. For that prompt, I chose Skim by Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. This is another graphic novel, and it definitely seems to be coming of age, if not possibly coming out as well, because in the description it mostly talks about like relationship stuff and then grief, and it mentions sexuality as well in there. So we'll see what this is like. The next step on the hero's journey is trials and failures, and for that, you have to read a book that you started and never finished. And for that, I'm going to be reading Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness. This is Jonathan Van Ness's memoir. If you've ever seen Queer Eye, um, he's on there. I know he's recently come out as non-binary and he also talks about being HIV positive. I started this book and got about a quarter of the way through, but I had to pause it a little bit. It was good so far. It had Jonathan's voice, which makes it quirky and interesting. Um, but they kept coming back to kind of the childhood sexual assault and I had to chill out and not read that for a little while. I think that I can go back to it though. Next, we have Death and Rebirth, a book that has been on your TBR for over a year. The book that I have for that is another memoir. It is When They Call You a Terrorist, a Black Lives Matter memoir by Patrice Con Colors and Asha Bendel. I'm not sure how much they talk about like being LGBT in this, but I do know that Patrice Con Colors is queer. I've been wanting to read this book for a long time and I've been really stoked for it, so hopefully I will be able to get to it this month. The next step of the hero's journey is Revelation, and for that you had to pick a book that you think is going to be five stars. For that I chose Motor Crush Volume 1. This is a comic series with LGBT characters and motorcycles. The artwork looks really great. I would be really surprised if I didn't give this a really good rating. The LGBT graphic novels that I read tend to get five stars a little bit more easily just because I 
tend to really like them, and I've heard a bunch of really great stuff about Motor Crush. Sorry for the change in angles and probably worse lighting. I don't have my tripod, um, so I'm just kind of like vlog style holding my phone. But the next prompt that we have is Atonement, a book that broadens your world view. For this prompt, I'm going to be reading Stepping Off the Relationship Escalator, Uncommon Love and Life by Amy Garran. This book is about polyamory or non-monogamy. It really talks about lots of different sorts of relationship setups. I'm not sure how the author identifies so far as like if she's queer or anything like that. However, there is a section in this book, a chapter that explicitly in the title talks about asexuality and aromanticism. So there's definitely a discussion of LGBT representation in some capacity in this book. The next step that we have is A Gift from the Gods, a book recommended by a booktuber or a friend. So for this one I chose a book I think it has been recommended to me by a friend before but I've definitely seen it at least once on booktube and it is actually one of the reading picks for the NB book club. That is Genderqueer, a memoir by Maria uh, Kobabe and this is a memoir that is written as a graphic novel. For the final prompt we have Return an author you have never heard of until now. For that, I'm choosing a book that I have access to through Scribd. That book is Love Retold by Teek the Wolf. This is another graphic novel slash comic collection. I'm pretty sure it's nonfiction based off of their experience. It's a reflection on love, specifically within a non-monogamous context. So they're talking about their different experiences as being non-monogamous and queer. So. Those are all of the books that I have for each prompt. Really, this is going to be acting as my TBR in May in general, just because I don't want to add a whole bunch more. The only other book that I know for sure that I'll be working on is Moving Politics, which I have been working on. And if you look, this right here, where the main section of the bookmark is, is about where I'm at. We still have a little bit of time in April, though, so I'm hoping that I can get there, which is to the beginning of the third part. There are three main parts in the book, so doing a part per month would be ideal for sure. The good thing about this book, and one of the reasons it's worth mentioning kind of within the specific um, Heroes Readathon, is that it also fits what I already have. So Moving Politics is about ACT UP, which was a queer organization, and it's something that I already have. I actually received it as a Christmas gift, so I didn't purchase it at all. So it fits my race and my class. And if for some reason I don't get to one of the other books, this could cover Meet Your Mentor, technically because this person was involved in ACT UP, and anyone who was involved in that, I definitely would be looking up to. It would also cover Trials and Failures, Kind of. I never really stopped reading it though, so maybe not so much. It would definitely also fit Atonement because this is something that has had a huge impact on how I see social movements or it's, I guess, added to some things that I've already known and it's made me think about a whole lot. And it would also technically fit Return because I didn't know anything about the author going into it. That is the only other book that I have that I know for sure that I'm going to be reading. I have ideas for audiobooks and other things like that, but I just want to sort of go and see where this takes me. Thank you all so much for watching this. I am so sorry about this setup. It is absolutely abysmal, especially compared to all of my nice books that I usually have sitting around. And right now, we just have sad stacks. Um, that's sort of life at the moment, sad stacks. Maybe my next video will have better lighting. Probably not. Hopefully you found some of the books that are on my TBR interesting. If you're going to be a part of the Heroes Readathon, definitely let me know in the comments. If you've read any of the books that I've talked about, let me know how they were, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.